G'day, welcome back. So my friend gave me his laptop to fix. This is a 2018 MacBook Pro. Now what's happening is that when it boots up, it encounters these error messages. So I'm going to show you the simple process of fixing these error messages. So let's get right into it. I do know that the owner of this laptop was trying to clear the hard drives so I suspect that one of the partitions was formatted and I have a hunch that this has something to do with the Apple ID protections. Right so let's boot this computer up. So I'll just press the power button and let's see what happens. Okay we've got the Apple symbol and then it jumps into this support Apple dot com startup so i'll shut the computer down so to shut the computer down i'll just press and hold the power button cool so the first thing i'm going to try is to reset the nvram now one of the reasons the nvram can get corrupted is say you're doing an update on your computer and you lost power then that can cause it now if you have an older computer the same thing is called pram or parameter ram and to reset it is the exact same process so what you do is you shut down your computer and then boot up and then as soon as you see the backlight you press and hold the option command p and r keys now it's a bit of finger stretch but it's manageable so what will happen is that the computer will actually automatically reboot and then when you hear the chimes which indicates that you have reset your pram then you can release the option command p and r keys so i'm going to try that now i'll press the power button get my fingers ready okay we are ready so i'll press the power button and then as soon as the backlight occurs i'll press and hold the keys go and that's a good sign the apple disappeared straight away so now it's resetting the nvram and the computer should reboot momentarily cool i'll let go of the keys and let's see if this fixed it ba -boom. it certainly didn't so i'll shut the computer down again Cool, so I'm going to actually try to install macOS using a USB installer. So I'll plug in the USB, and this USB has macOS Monterey on it. Cool, so what I'll do now is press the power button, and as soon as the backlight or the chimes occur, I'll quickly press option. So I'll try that now. And I'm pressing option. I can see it's reading the USB drive. So it says install macOS Monterey. So let's try that. And of course that didn't work. Now because I've ended up at the screen it means that I can't install from the USB drive. So that means the back end isn't set up to allow for installation of USB drives. So for now, what I'll do is I'll shut the computer down by pressing holding the power button. And I can unplug that. Right, so what I'm going to try next is to boot the computer into internet recovery. Now, in my experience, Internet recovery seems to work a lot better if you're using an Ethernet cable. And so what I want to do is boot into internet recovery mode. And to do that, what I have to do is from a shutdown computer, boot the computer. And as soon as you hear the chimes, what I'll do is press and hold option, command and R. So I'll do that now. So power button, chimes, and then I'm pressing all three keys and holding. And here we go into intent recovery. And this winds up also at an error. So I'll have to jump onto another computer to continue. So here I am on another computer and I'm actually on an iMac right now and this process I've actually tried in Windows and Linux and it seems to work fine in both those platforms as well. So 
Firstly, what I'll do is I'll jump into Safari. Now I have done this process using Brave and I think I used Firefox at some stage and that seemed to work. Right now I'm in Safari. So what I'll do is I'll do a search for Apple ID. There we go, it's come in as a top hit. So I'll press return and then sign in to the account. Now this is where you'll actually have to have the login details for the Apple ID relevant to the computer. Now because I've already got an Apple ID for this computer, the Apple ID for the laptop is different. So I'll click here, use a different ID. And then it's going to ask me to log in. So I'll do that now. And of course the password. And it's asking for the two-factor authentication. Now I do actually have an Apple iPhone here. So let's open it up. And as I said, because this computer is hooked up to a different Apple ID and not the Apple ID for the laptop, it won't actually send me a verification code. Cool, and it says did not get a verification code. So I'll click on that and then click text me. And this should arrive at my phone. And there we go did indeed, so I'll enter it into the computer. And that seems to have worked. Cool, so I don't need the phone for now. So what I want to do is jump into devices. And here is the laptop that I'm going to be fixing today. So I'll click on that. And here we go. So I actually have Find My Mac turned on. And before I remove this account, I actually wanted to jump into iCloud and remove the device from the iCloud account too, because that is actually where the Find My Mac features reside. So I'll click on Open on iCloud, and that's going to open a new tab. And then, of course, sign into this. So I'm going to sign in using the same details for the laptop and use different Apple ID. and then sign in here. And of course the password. And here we are. So if the laptop was actually online, it would have a map showing its location. However, location services are off because the computer is actually off. So I've got a few options here. I can erase this device or remove this device. If I click on that, I'll click on it twice and all content and settings will be erased and the Mac will be erased when it connects to the internet. Now I don't actually want to do that, I'm going to do the formatting myself so I'll click out of there and then I'm simply going to click remove this device. So this Mac is linked to your Apple account, removing this Mac from your account will allow it to be activated and used by another person which is exactly what we want. So I'll click remove and then enter the password for this account. And then click remove device. And there we go. Now I have no devices. So I'm going to sign out of this account. And close this tab. So I can now remove this computer from this account. And remove. And now I can actually install Mac OS onto the computer. So I'll sign out of this Apple ID account. And let's get back to the computer. Cool, so the computer is off. So I'm going to power it up and then enter Internet Recovery by pressing and holding Option, Command and R. So power button. And then Option, Command, and R. And here we are in Internet Recovery. So I'm going to exit to Recovery. Cool, so I want to firstly prepare the hard drive. So I'll select disk utility and then continue and what I want to do is go up to view 
and show all devices. Now that's also here as well. Cool, so this is the hard drive of this MacBook. And what I want to do is click Erase. And I'm going to call this MacBook hard drive. Cool, and then click Erase. And this will format the hard drive to APFS or Apple File System. So I'll click Erase. Shouldn't take too long. Let's expand that window. And that has completed. So I'll click Done. Cool, so I can now exit out of Disk Utility. And then select Reinstall Mac OS Sonoma. Click Continue. And then continue again. And we are off and away. Cool, and I see the license agreement is unavailable. Hmm, curious. So I'll click Agree and Agree to a license agreement that is unavailable. And then select the hard drive that we just formatted, click Continue. And cool, we are at the install screen, so let's continue. So I'll choose Australia and continue. Not now, continue, not now, set up later, skip. Ah, well, I'm pretty much just narrating what I'm doing here, aren't I? So agree and agree to the thingy, and then I'll just enter some details. and save and we should almost be done so it's creating the account and it's asking if i want to use find my mac now i'm not going to activate find my mac because i don't want this computer to connect to the old apple id this is going to a new owner so he'll be able to set this up anyway so i'll just go continue and there we go locations services are off so i'll go continue don't use and then choose a location. I'll just use a location that my time zone is in. And I'm not going to share Mac Analytics. Just continue, set up later. Continue. I'll set up Touch ID later. That's the fingerprint reader. And of course, go for a dark theme. Much easier on the eye. And continue. And voila, we are now back in the Mac, so it's time to set up. So in the next video, I'll show you how to set up Mac OS, in particular Mac OS Sonoma. And then I'll show you how you can downgrade from Mac OS to Mac OS Montre or any other compatible Mac OS. And if you'd like to ensure the success of this channel, please drop us a like or subscribe if you'd like to see some more Linux videos. I've got a whole slew of them coming up very soon. So take care and I'll see you next time.